person from WaterAid in aid of uh, World War II. Okay, uh, the first question is, what is the main purpose of WaterAid? So, WaterAid's vision is of a world where everybody has access to safe water, improved hygiene and sanitation. And our aim is to transform lives um, by giving the poorest communities in the world access to safe water, sanitation and hygiene. Okay, and um, what is the purpose of Water Day? World Water Day is here to basically make people aware of the water and sanitation crisis across the world. So in developed countries, a lot of us don't really realise what the issues are. So if we look at these two bottles, this is a bottle of water that myself and yourself would drink from. In developing countries where some of the world's poorest people live, the sort of they, the water they used to drink used to cook food with and wash with, wash their clothes, wash themselves, it's like this water. Now I think we all agree that none of us would actually ever dream of touching this or drinking it. Um, so World Water Day aims to let people know about this crisis and what's going on in other places in the world. And where do you think Water Aid has been the most successful? Recently um, we had a really successful project called The Big Dig in Malawi. Um, and we campaign to get people to donate from all across the world um, and we also campaign to the UK government and they agreed to match all the donations that we received and we ended up raising £2.2 .2 million pounds, and that enabled us to give 134,000 people access to safe water for the rest of their lives in Malawi and we did that in six weeks. Wow, so it's, yeah, it's a quite a big deal for the trade. Um, and why do women tend to have to collect water in the third world countries? Well, the water crisis in third world countries tend to affect women a lot more because of a few different things really. Firstly, generally in these countries, uh, um, woman's role is to stay at home and look after the family and the man tends to go out and work. Um, because of that, women have to do the collecting of water quite often. Um, women will have to carry buckets of water that weigh about 20 kilograms, which, to put that in perspective, is around the weight of um, your luggage allowance when you get on a plane. So imagine a whole suitcase on your head um, carrying that all day and it tend, sometimes it can be for miles and miles, so sort of like six hours of walking a day. Um, and the other side of it is in young children, obviously if you don't have a sort of clean, safe, private toilet to use at school, for girls especially, sort of teenage years, it's very embarrassing to be defecating in front of others and so a lot of girls tend to miss out on education which then has knock-on effects in later life um, so they tend to not work because of this lack of education and actually 443 million school days are lost each year due to water related diseases. And what can the public do to get involved with water? Lots of different things and really, really simple things. Obviously you can just donate money if you like to, but you can sort of donate time in terms of fundraising activities. So at school, for example, you could do on your next sports day, buckets of pennies for buckets of water. You could have a themed day, maybe wear blue for poo and get people to um, give 50p each to sort of come in school in blue. Um, you can do things like cake sales and car boot sales. Um, you can look at doing cards for thought. So if you make some cards, maybe for Easter and sell them to friends and family. Um, you can do things like hold your own Olympics and get people to pay to pass his pay. Maybe one for the girls is do a swap shop whereby people give maybe five pounds each and then you all bring your clothes that you don't want and swap with each other. So lots of things like that. I guess one of the most important things as well on top of the donations is advocacy work so you know go home tell your friends your family your neighbours if you go to church on a Sunday tell people what the what the problems are around lack of clean water and sanitation so people are actually aware because one of Water Aid's aims is to increase 
UK um, sort of knowledge about the water crisis from 54% last year to 70% by 2015. So if everyone spreads the word about the crisis, that will help us with our own. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.